Today we're going to be looking at application and system software. Our learning objective is to understand what software is, be able to explain the difference between system and application software. We should also be able to list and describe some programs from different software categories. So software can be referred to as programs and instructions that run on the computer. They can be used to complete lots of different tasks. Without software, the computer would essentially just be an empty shell. Software can be broken up into two main categories, system software and application software. The operating system, library programs, utility programs, and language translators are all examples of system software. General purpose software, bespoke software, and special purpose software are all examples of application software. Now going into it in a bit more detail, application software is non-essential software that you can install onto your computer. It's used to perform non-computing tasks such as writing letters. It's broken up into three categories, general purpose, special purpose, and bespoke application software. General purpose software is software which allows you to complete a variety of tasks. Special purpose software is software which allows you to complete a single specific task. And bespoke application software is software which is custom designed and made for a specific purpose or a user. Now system software is gonna be the main type of software we're gonna be looking at in these videos. System software is software that is needed to maintain and operate hardware. Some examples of system software are the operating system, library programs, utility programs, and programming language translators. We're going to look at the operating system in a bit more detail. It's probably one of the most important system softwares. It's a software which acts as a bridge between the user and the actual hardware. It provides a user interface for users to interact with. It just makes the computer a lot more user friendly. Windows 10 is a very common example of an operating system. It's used on Microsoft computers. OS X is an example of an operating system you might find on Apple devices. Some key functions of the operating system have been listed in front of you. The operating system communicates with peripheral devices, provides a platform for other applications to run on, is in charge of memory management, it organizes the CPU, and also manages security on the computer. We won't go into these in a huge amount of detail now. We'll take a quick break and we'll go over these in the next video.